Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, Ceci. Hello, Briseida. Yeah. Hello, William. Hi. Qué elegancia, Dios mío. Oh, you no, know it. That's how we got to do it. Nothing to it but to do it. Excellent. Thank you. Así tiene que ser siempre. <laughs> All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, Angel. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your English class. Are you ready for your English class? Listo para su clase de inglés? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Eh, ¿Quién me puede decir qué información se acuerda de la clase de ayer? ¿Qué vimos ayer? ¿Quién se acuerda? ¿Quién se acuerda de la información que vimos ayer? ¿Nobody? ¿No se acuerdan? We did a count. The verb to be. Okay. Can you give me an example? Ah, estuvimos viendo también una conversación. Utilizando conversations. That's exciting. ¿Se acuerdan? En la 3.9. That's exciting. ¿Se acuerdan de esa conversación? Yes. That's right. Describiendo los trabajos. Correct. Esos fueron un par de temas que estuvimos conversando ayer. Vamos a empezar con el video en la parte 3.8. Perdón, 4.9. 3.9. placement of adjectives. Particularly, you will learn be plus adjective and noun plus adjective. Let's get started by listening to a conversation title. That's exciting. Let's listen and practice. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I'm a firefighter now, you know. That's exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job, and sometimes it's dangerous. In essence, what we want to learn is how to express the same thing, but in different ways. First, let's analyze the examples on the left-hand side of this chart, B plus adjective. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article, A, or an plus profession plus apostrophe plus job plus verb to be plus adjective. Now let's analyze the first example on the chart. A firefighter's job is dangerous. At the beginning of our sentence we will typically use an article whenever we're talking about a singular job. So in this case a then we have profession plus apostrophe s which expresses possessive plus job. After that, we're going to add the verb to be, in this case is, is. Uh, finally, we put the adjective. Let's look at our next example. A doctor's job is stressful. At the beginning of our sentence, we have an article, in this case A. Then we have profession plus apostrophe as, which expresses possessive, plus job. After that, we have the verb to be, is. Finally, we have the adjective, stressful. Now we want to express these same examples using adjective plus noun. We can follow this formula to better understand this topic. Article A or N plus profession plus has plus article A or N plus adjective plus noun. So let's make sense of the first example now. A firefighter has a dangerous job. 
At the beginning of our sentence, we will use the, an article, A. Then we will have the profession. All right. Right now, what we're going to do is practice this conversation. Everybody, please repeat after me. Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. I hear you have a new job. Have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math at Lincoln. Yes, I teach math at Lincoln. Lincoln. High school. High school. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it? It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. The students are terrific. They the students are terrific. The students are terrific. The students are terrific. How are things with you? How are, how are, how are you? With you? Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. bad. I'm a firefighter now. And I'm a firefighter now. Fire fire now. I'm a firefighter now. I'm, I'm, I'm a firefighter fire fire now. now. You know? <clears throat> you know? You know? That's exciting. That's, That's exciting. exciting. That's exciting. exciting. Yes, but it's a very stressful job. Yes, very stressful job. And sometimes it's dangerous. And sometimes it's dangerous. All right, all right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice the conversation in pairs. I would like for you to practice the conversation in pairs. Are you ready? Yes. And let's go. Ada no se fue, Roberto no se fue. Richard. ¿Usted es Richard? Yo Richard. Ok. Hey Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I am the teacher. What at Lincoln High School? How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. How are things with you? Not bad. I am fired. I now you now that x team yes but it's a very stressful job um sometimes it's dangerous okay i am richard my richard Yes, Stephanie. I think <laughs> you have a new home. Yes, I am. <laughs> Matt, I link. Teaching. Matt, Matt, at Lincoln. High school. 
How do you like it? It's great. The students are very terrific. How are they doing with you? Not bad. I'm fine, fine. No, you no. Damn it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, but it very stressful. How and some it in danger you. Okay. 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 Yes. All right. Let us continue. All right. Hello, Angel. Hello, Doris. Hello, Ada. Hello. Hello, Mauricio. Hi. All right, hello, Mauricio. Hey, All right, hello, let me Mauricio. have Doris and Mauricio practice the conversation. Doris and Mauricio, practice the conversation, please. Okay. Hi, Stephanie. I hear you have a new job. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, se me salió la página. The skills collection is uh, right now we are working from the conversation. <clears throat> the conversation is that's exciting. It is section three point nine. Okay. Point nine. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. All right, you may begin. Mauricio and Doris. Mauricio eh, Pedro, and Doris. Mauricio, you are Steve, uh, Richard, and Doris, you are Stephanie. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay. Hey, Stephanie, I hear you have a new job. Yes, I'm teaching math of Lincoln High School. How do you like it? It's great. The students are terrific. 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 How are things why do? Terrific. Terrific, terrific. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, but I am fighter, fighter, fighter. Fire now, fighter. do you know? Fighter? Fire fighter. Fire fighter. Now, do you know? That's exciting. 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 <clears throat> yes, but it is a very stressful job. And sometimes it's dang dangerous. All right. Dangerous. Good job, guys. Excellent. Okay, uh, we're going to stop right here with the conversations because it's important that we continue with the platform. All right, we're gonna get started with the knowledge check 3.10. Thank, thank you, excuse me. Oh, I feel a little, my nose is a little congested. Ah, it's horrible. All right, we're gonna look at knowledge check. Tequila. 
<laughs> Please, I need some tequila in my life. <laughs> uh, we're going to look at section 3.10, knowledge check, instructions. Write each sentence a different way. Follow the example. Instrucciones. Escriba cada oración de la diferente manera posible. Siga el ejemplo. For example, one, A. A doctor's job is interesting. A doctor has an interesting job. A police officer's job is dangerous. A police officer has a dangerous job. So you're going to write the sentences in two ways. Lo vamos a escribir de dos maneras. ¿Pueden ver mi pantalla? ¿Puede ver mi pantalla? Can you see my screen? Can yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. So you're going to write it the two ways. For example, a police officer's job is dangerous or a police officer has a dangerous job. All right, you're going to do two, three, four, five, and six. You have five minutes. Five minutes, five minutes. Okay. If you have a question, raise your hand.
eh, no me deja ingresar al sitio. Eh, a la plataforma. Uh -huh. Solo deja ingresar a la sí. plataforma. Mándeme un screenshot. Oh. Mándeme okay. un screenshot al, al WhatsApp. Ok. ¿Al grupo en general o a...? Ah, no, 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 porque yo lo que voy a hacer es que se lo voy a pasar a Marvin Ramírez. Él se encarga de los problemas eh, técnicos de la plataforma. Ok. Eh, ¿Cómo aparece acá en el grupo? Él tiene que aparecer como Marvin Ramírez. Yo aparezco como Mr. Santos. 63085946. Ok. Ok, listo. All right. All right, all right. Eh, ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Ya terminamos o necesitamos un poquito más de tiempo? <coughs> Finished? All right. Yes. Okay, let's yeah. check. We're going to check. ¿Quién puede hacer eh, la número uno? ¿Quién me puede hacer la número uno? Okay, Mauricio. Perdón, número tres, Mauricio. Okay. A teacher has a stressful job. Very good. A teacher has a stressful job. Correct. Select somebody, Mauricio. Okay, Carla Rojas levantó la mano. Carla Rojas, eh, number three, please. Number four. Yes, number four, please. A plumber has boring hole. All has right. A, a plumber has a boring job. Very good, Carla. Select somebody, Carla. Angel, levantó la mano. Okay, Angel, number five. An electrician has a difficult job. Job. Very good. Thank you. ¿Alguien más que levantó la mano? All right. Eh, let me see. Carlos Avilés, number six. Okay. Uh, Leticia, number six. All right, Elizabeth, number six. A vendor's job is easy. A, A vendor has an easy job. Excellent. Thank you, Elizabeth. All right. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Does anybody have any questions referring to this vocabulary? ¿Alguien tiene alguna consulta o pregunta sobre este vocabulario? No? No, teacher. All right, we're going to move on to the next activity, and we're going to be looking at section 311, lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will develop prediction on... Yes, can they hold teacher? 
Hello, Gladys. Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Gladys. Hello, Gladys. Eh, es, es, es para cualquier, es para cualquier adjetivo que se usa de esta forma o solo para los que tienen relación con los eh, trabajos. Ah, oh, no, 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 para cualquier cosa. Si tú quieres decir, hola. por ejemplo, hola, me escucha. ¿Me escucha? Sí. Ok, sí. digamos que tú quieres decir... Tú quieres decir... Eh, los ojos de Catherine Zeta Jones son bonitos. Por ejemplo. Right. Puedes decir... Uh, lo voy a escribir aquí en el chat. Puedes decir... Catherine, Catherine Zeta Jones, apóstrofe S, eyes are beautiful. Catherine Zeta Jones, eyes are beautiful. O puede decir Catherine Zeta Jones has beautiful eyes, por ejemplo. Okay. O puedes decir, okay. por ejemplo, eh, Donald Trump is, eh, is a bad guy, a bad guy, right? Ahí puedes decir, eh, Donald, Donald Trump has Donald Trump has bad feelings. Right? So se puede usar okay. para cualquier cosa, no solo trabajo. Thank you. Uh -huh. Se puede cambiar el verbo have a has por otro. No, solo have o has. Esos son los que se usan para el posesivo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and look at the next activity. For the next activity, we're looking at section 3.11. 3.11. By the end of this class, you will develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Al final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades de predicción e inferencia después de leer y discutir un artículo sobre perfiles de trabajo. Job profiles. Please listen and watch. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop prediction and inferencing skills after reading and discussing an article on job profiles. Reading Job Profiles Lisa Parker has two jobs. She works as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditions for plays and television shows. Her schedule is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. Lots of teenagers want John Blue's job. He plays video games for eight hours a day, and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours, rain or shine. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park at one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lessons, grades homework, helps with after-school activities, 
and of course he teaches. His salary isn't great, but that's okay. His students like his class, so he's happy. Okay, now we're going to practice the conversations in pairs. We're going to practice the conversations in pairs. Are you ready? Let's go. Yes. Hello. Hello, Leticia. Leticia, hello. Charlotte though is difficult and she's tired a lot, but she is fully following her dream. Okay. Voy con John, voy con John Blue. Okay. Uh, a lot of teenager one John Blue. John Blue's Joe. He plays video game for a house a day and he gets paid for it. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is it ever boring? Never John almost always wins. Okay. Becky Pecks Becky Peck walks in the park every day for many hours. Ray on shine. Becky is a professional professional dog walker. She walks dogs for other people. Sometimes she takes 20, 20 dogs to the park on one time. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plants lights on. Great hammer work. He went after a school activity. activity and of course, he teaches. His salary is great, but that's okay. Is his student like his class, so he's happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hoy con Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker has to go. She wore as he waited at night, but she really an actress during the day. 
she auditioned for play and television show. Her, esta palabra, schedule, schedule, uh -huh, is difficult. And she is tired a lot, but she is following her dream. dream. Aplazada en esta cosa usted. Está feo. Es que no se mira. Quiero ver. Ninguno se mira bien. Y es que así me salen a mí las capturas. No se ve bien usted. Que nos salimos. No vea, nos puede regañar. No, esperemos a que el teacher aparezca. <ríe> Mire. No, me va a estar la, hasta el video he quitado, o sea, porque estoy pero bastante mal. Así como el teacher que cada rato agarra su papelito. ¿Y por qué se llama Peria? ¿Peria qué? Fíjese que así me han puesto el nombre de mi teléfono. Xperia XA Ultra 1. Ajá, por lo menos antes salía como Johnny Melende, va. Hoy no. Hoy salgo como Xperia. <ríe> pero ya voy a comprarme una lacto primero, Dios. Usted en eso estoy. Sí, yo, sí. Para poderme conectar un poco más tranquilo. Por porque mira cómo por, me... por sustos. Sí, pues así lo voy a agarrar. Yo las, yo las, si ese que estaban a... Teacher. What's up? No pudimos practicar porque no leemos bien, no se ve bien la imagen. Ah, ok. Ahorita vamos a... Estamos los dos primero. Pero ya los después estábamos hablando en hebreo. Ah, oh, ok. Ajá. We're going to do it right now. All right, let me have one volunteer, please. One volunteer. One volunteer. Que me lea Lisa Parker. All right, two participants raise their hand. Sonia, action. Lisa Parker, Sonia. Teacher, puede ponerme la pantalla en... Yes. There it is. Lisa Parker. Liz, Lisa Parker has to go work as a waitress at night, but she's really an actress. During the day, she auditioned for plays in television show. Her uh, do schedule. A schedule. Schedule. A schedule. Yes. Is difficult. 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 And she's tired a lot, but she's following her dream. All right. Applause for Miss Sonia. Excellent, Sonia. Thank you, teacher. Let me have uh, John Blue, Mauricio. John Blue, Mauricio. Los uh, teenager one, John Blue, job. He plays video games for a hour a day and he gets paid for it. Papi. John is a video game tester for a big video game company. Is he ever boring? Never. John almost always wins. Excellent. Very good, Mauricio. Uh, the next one, Gladys. Uh, Becky Peek. Gladys, the next one. Becky Peck, Becky Peaks walks in the park every day for many hours. 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 Right. Hours. Right. Hours. La H no se pronuncia. Hours. Oh, hours. Hours. Right. Ray on Shai. Becky is a professional dog walker. She walks dog for other people. 
Sometimes she takes 20 dogs to the park or at one time. Excellent. Very good. The dog walker. Applause for Gladys. Okay, uh, one more volunteer. One more volunteer for Carlos Ruiz. One more volunteer for Carlos Ruiz. Volunteer for Carlos Ruiz. Volunteer for Carlos Ruiz. All right, Angel, levantó la mano. Thank you, Angel. Carlos Ruiz, action. Quítele el silencio a su micrófono. Angel, Carlos yeah. Ruiz. Sí, Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz is a busy man. He plans lesson, lesson. Great homework helps with after school activities. And of course, he teacher, his salary uh, isn't great, but that's okay. His student like his class, so he's happy. All right, good job. Applause for Angel. All right, guys, now what you're going to do is you're going to describe a profession over here. Va a describir una profesión similar como aquí arriba. Puede elegir la profesión que usted quiera. Usando los ejemplos que estamos viendo acá. Lo vamos a escribir aquí en el discussion forum, donde dice ingresar información. Raro, no me da la pantalla. Ok, mostrar discusión. Añadir una publicación. Veo que ya varios lo hicieron. Tienen 10 minutos. 10 minutos. Empezando ya. Ten minutes.
¿Cómo vamos? Uh, ¿You finished o necesitamos más tiempo? ¿Cómo vamos? Almost finished, teacher. Almost finished. ¿Cuánto tiempo más necesitan? Like two minutes, I think. Okay, two more minutes. Two more minutes. All right, all right. Is everybody finished? Are you finished? Finished, teacher. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next activity. Now for the next activity, what we're going to be looking at is section number 3.13, Knowledge Check. Instructions. Read the article who says these things. Select the names. Lea el artículo, quien dijo estas cosas, seleccione el nombre. Number one. After I win, I take a break. ¿Quién dijo eso? Lisa Parker. John Blue. John Blue, that's right. El otro. I don't usually work in the summer. ¿Quién dijo eso? Carlos Ruiz. Carlos Ruiz. All right, the next one, number three, the restaurant closes late around 2 a.m. Lisa Parker. Lisa Parker, that is correct. 
The next one says, after work, my feet and my arms are tired. Who said that? Becky Peak. Becky Peak. All right, that is correct. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at the following one. We still have five more minutes. And we're looking at the midterm exam. Midterm exam, el examen midterm. Okay, let's do the listening together. Dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big clock. One. I really love our new house, Dan. What's your new house like, Julia? It's my dream house. It has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. The bedrooms have big closets. Wow, three bedrooms. That sounds nice. Two. Yeah, I really love the house, but I need some furniture. What do you need? I need some things for the kitchen and the living room. What's in your living room now? Well, there are some chairs, but there isn't a sofa. Three. What do you need for the kitchen? Well, there's a refrigerator and a stove, but there's no microwave oven. Hmm. You know, I have a microwave oven, but I don't really use it. Do you want it? Yes, thanks. All right. Uh, Mario Moran, read number one, please. Mario Moran, read number one, please. There are three bedrooms. Excellent. Uh, let me have the next one, number two, please, Elmer. She had some chair, chair and the living room, teacher. Very good, Elmer. Carlos Mendez, number three, please. Uh, Julia needs a uh, microwave. Microwave. My, Julia needs a uh, microwave oven for the kitchen. Perfect. All right, let's go to conversation B. Complete the conversations. Complete the conversations, use the simple present. The verbs of the verbs, select the option that contains the words to complete the questions. Number one, mm, you're building mm, an elevator. Uh, let me see, Briseida. Briseida. Uh, does your ap apartment building building have an elevator? Elevator. 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 Very, very good. That is correct. All right. Let me have uh, Doris Alas, letter B. Yes, it. Doris Alas, letter B. Uh, that, yes, it does. Correct. Thank you, Doris. Let me have William Rosales. Conversation two. A number conversation number two, letter A. Seria, do the bedrooms have closet? Correct. Do the bedrooms have closet? Is correct. Elizabeth Vasquez, letter B, please. Um, no, they, no, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> 
No, they don't. It's correct. All right. Let's look at letter C. Letter C. Instructions. Unscrabble the sentences. Write each sentence in the correct order. The, the, there isn't a mirror in bedroom. El, do me the favor, please. Letty. All right. Carlos Samosa. Okay. Bar okay. There are no pictures in the hall. Okay. Number one, there isn't uh -huh. a mirror in the bedroom. Number two, there are no pictures in the hall. Number three, there aren't any curtains in the dining room. All right, guys, el resto les queda de tarea. Please finish and we continue tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye.